Right guys, this is the first vlog entry of hopefully many that we're going to try and do just to keep you guys updated with what's happening at Kit Locker. Um, we do do some fun stuff behind the scenes, so we're not just sell kits, which a lot of people might think what we what we normally do, but we do a lot of fun stuff as well, like working with brands like Nike and Adidas. Um, today we're driving down the M1 to Middlesex and we're going to be filming a video with Tom Kearney, thanks to Joe from Nike's brand team for hooking that up and we're also going to be there with Smith from Palmers and Tommy Tom Tom and Tomo. So it'd be good to catch up with those guys. We're going to do a couple of challenge videos and that kind of stuff. Um, hope they get some behind the scenes footage on this camera um, in this vlog format and then the actual full video will be up uh, very soon. This is Chris up there. Morning everybody. I'm going to focus on you Chris. Chris is our copywriter so he writes a lot of our content for us around like Premier League and stuff. So if you are keeping up to date with what we do on social media a lot of it is down to Chris because he loves football very much. That's Alex, he's our creative director. She does all our editing and stuff. Um, he's a very talented young man because he spends Thanks. all of his life making videos. His head's getting bigger now. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is something that I think we're going to try and do more regularly at Matt Smith, aka Smith's request. He wants us to do this more often. We want to do it more often, so it's something that we're going to try and do. Um, more often so stick with us and subscribe <laughs> all right let's do favorite player currently Alex you can go first Matt Reid 100% no, it's got to Reed. be a Premier League player well he is a Premier League player playing in <laughs> League 2 <laughs> um, favorite Premier League player um, Mo Salah, isn't it? It's always Mo Salah. Chris? Um, Don't say Mo Salah. It's got to be John Stones, hasn't it? Yeah. John Stones Good is lad. Yeah. I'm going De Bruyne. Ben? No, it's got to be Tom Kearney, isn't it? That's a good shout, actually. <laughs> 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 Lee Cook, say? Pogba. Pogba? I thought you were going to say... Ayose Perez. Can't pick a new Christian Shout out to Christian Atsu. Let's sort myself out. Let's sort myself out. <laughs> Just putting my uh, fake uh, Ralph, Ralph Laurent Pado hat on. I call it Ralph the Wrong, because it's not right. It's not. A, it's a fake. I go from Thailand for uh, pets don't suit me. No, they do suit you. They don't suit me. Does but I can say that. But they do, they I've got a mixed you. reception on the vlog saying that they do suit me and they don't. But I'll, I'll go a, with. I'll go with right now. They kind of do, or don't, I don't know. You decide. I have anyway, like a potato, so I can't wear them. A potato. Potato. So potato. I'm, I'm. I'm currently holding the camera for the kit locker vlog. I, I feel yeah. like I've made it now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'm. No. You, Go on, you, you go, because I'm this is I'm on your vlog. So th I think this might be like halfway through the vlog. Okay. Or maybe a third of the way through. Cool. I'm hoping we're going to get some good content on the way home. Good vlog but content. I feel like I'm going to be a little bit tired after, you know, the big filming session we've just done. So yeah, but you show your emotion, show that you're tired in the in the video, because you, you're working. You can't so always be, hi guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel, drop a like below, and you can't be like that all the time. <laughs> what was that accent? <laughs> It's a bit Australian. Yeah, I don't know what it was. So for me, right, if I, I'm new to this, Kit Locker's new to this, mm. um, for anyone that's new to this, yeah. if you could give three tips, what would they be? Put me on the spot. <laughs> I'm still new to it as well. Um, I'm in my 37th week of vlogging in my life. I'm going to get your present at 52, by the way. Oh, thank you. So, thank you. Look after that. Um, tips. Don't feel like you have to film everything. Yeah. Um, that would be my first tip because that was something I early on felt like I had to film everything throughout the day mm -hmm. to the point of, you know, like every dinner, the way it was made, what I'm doing now. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as you capture, like for me, my, my weekly vlog is like two or three minutes every day. Mm -hmm. So as long as you capture something, and even if you don't do something on a certain day, just don't put it, you don't, don't feel like, because you'll find yourself stressing out that, um, you want to put something in there yeah. and you're wasting your own time because actually the vlog is supposed to just be an overview of this is what I'm actually doing in my life. 
So rather than worrying about the vlog, just get on with your work. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then as All you right. go and as it will flow, someone's putting, bringing your balls back, by the way. They're now your balls as a thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Just so. received some balls, lovely. I'll give them, I'll split them between the first team and the They're reserves. light though. They are quite light. Very I mean. light, yeah. yeah. So that's the new chart standard ball as well. It's nice. I do like it. I like the graphic. Yeah. It's cool. Right, number two. Sorry, yeah. So number one is don't feel like you have to film everything. Mm -hmm. Number two would be um, stay relatable. Yeah. As in just be yourself. Don't feel like you have to put on this persona. Don't feel like you have to animate yourself and be like hyper because that's not really you. Because um, you can't just turn that on and off, can you? No. For, no, that's for a it. full week. That's it. Mm. And um, think about like, um, I mean, I've, I've been there before with other YouTubers and you think, oh, they're, they're not really how they are in, like they're quite, you know, mellow in real life, but on video they're like, hey, yeah. how you doing? Mm. You can't be like that in real life. So just be yourself. Yeah. Just, just, just do you. And if people find it boring, for everyone that finds it boring, there'll be someone else that finds it interesting or entertaining. I mean, my vlogs, I'm sure people come along and go, wow, this is uh, pretty standard. You know? But then there's other people that are like, oh, this is, this is quite interesting, or they just want to be nosy, you know? Yeah. So that's number two. So number one, don't film too much. Yeah. Or feel like you have to film everything. Yeah. Number two, be relatable. Number three, um, I, I don't know. You've not got a third one? I don't think I have. You don't need, maybe that's I, I guess two rules. Um, Maybe keep it simple, and when I say keep it simple, with like at the moment I'm holding um, a big rig here with a camera on, and I've got a giant mic, and it, you you took two or three minutes to set it up. Yeah. Whereas with me, on the little one there, and it will come out very similar quality. Yeah. It won't be as good a quality as this, but it'll get the shot. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. What, what no. are you doing it for? I mean, if you want to make a really nice looking video, these are probably the cameras to sort of use, but. Yeah. That little camera down there, I think, is a. It's portable. B. It's it's quick. You just click, click record, yeah. and, and and away you go. So maybe maybe just downsize a little bit on your on your equipment. Carry well, that in your pocket. Said that before. It's was weird, that... isn't it? Because on on when I first started YouTube, it was we all had bog standard stuff. It was all crap, and you strive to be that little bit better. But now it's kind of going. I'm not saying get crap cameras. <laughs> I'm saying get a nice camera that's crystal clear in that. That's fine. But yeah. don't worry about all this. This jargon. Yep. Get use this for the the, for the, the Tom the, the Kenny videos. To, for the Tom Kenny videos. Yeah, um, that makes sense. You guys have obviously he's obviously told you why we're down here today, or why you're down here today. So yeah, yeah. You use this stuff for the, the the nicer videos, but for the vlog, it's just a bird's eye view of your life, really. Mm -hmm. Not not like literally, but like you know. Oh my life. Oh, it's gonna be more about Kit Locker and what we do as a company. Yeah, sorry, I, I was I was thinking about mine, but yeah, for Kit Locker. So the in the the the, the ins and outs of a day in the life of Kit Locker. Whether mm. it be your job, Mike's job, the dog's job. The dog. The, the dog's dog. job. The dog's been very barky. He barks a lot lately. Really? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with him. Maybe he needs a partner. No, I don't think Mike would want that though, would he? No. no. Probably not. He's got a child himself now. So. Yeah. Congratulations, Mike. That'll be you I'll soon. Be, I'll be me soon. I'll be, I'll, be, uh, I'll be ringing him up for some tips, I think, because <laughs> he's had a little girl, hasn't he? He'll be, yeah, he's had a girl. She'll yeah. be six months, seven months, something like that. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I should know that. Sorry, Mike, if you watch this, which you will watch this. So it was and around yeah. Christmas time, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So six, seven, eight months. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah. So all good. No, but I think this is important for us to stay relevant. We work with a lot of YouTube channels now, so it's like yeah. obviously there's you guys. We do stuff with SC Dons, Bertie's, um, Rising Ballers. So for this is it's quite important for us to stay relevant. Who, who, to you who's guys. your favourite? I mean. Someone that can hold a camera for me while we vlog. Yep. It's always a bonus. So, so, can I get that? Right. So, it's, yeah. it's Palmer's. It's probably Palmer's. It's whoever it? wins Palmer's against SE Dons. <laughs> I answered this on an Instagram question, asked me anything, and the, we had about five questions immediately, which was Palmer's or SE Dons. Okay. So, well, for you, like, what you prefer, is it? Yeah. Or, yeah. From the Kit Locker channel. I yeah. think, to be honest, we, we both bring different things. I think. Uh, I mean, a while ago, when it, when, it, when it first started this scene, it was Palmer's or Hashtag, Palmer's or Hashtag. And now Hashtag have moved on and done their thing, but we've sort of stayed grounded to ourselves and, and, and stuck with this Sunday League vibe. And over that time, other teams have cropped up, one being SC Dons, who we, we, you know, we played against and we plugged as well, because I really enjoyed their stuff and, and, and what they do. It's, it's completely different to us, you know? Mm. And they bring a different angle, more of an urban angle, I'd say, yeah. uh, with the music as well, the music links they've got. So mm. they're good at what they do, and, and we are just, we're just a normal bunch of lads, bunch of mates that 
play football on a Sunday. So I think, if anything, we represent Sunday League a bit better than what they do. Mm. But at the same time, they represent a different genre of, yeah. you know. And I, I think it's the best way to describe it. Just because it's football doesn't yeah. mean it's the same content. Exactly, yeah. So it is a yeah. different genre. So you don't, you've got Sunday League pub. Yeah. You know, dog and duck kind of football, yeah. whereas they've got that music angle. It's a bit more yeah, urban. Pretty, and, yeah, yeah. But you don't have to have a favourite. You know, you you can like both. It's okay. Yeah. But if you do want to choose one, you know, killlocker.com dot slash palms fc. <laughs> That's where you want to be going. Um, and we're going to release a shirt, another shirt soon, right? So I'm you alluded this, it. didn't you, in your vlog last week? Yeah. So I mentioned that we're bringing back the six aside sessions. Um, series which a lot of the guys on that channel really enjoyed um, I feel like we lost our way on the channel recently with the second team coming along it took up all my time so we were literally just turning out games and we sort of lost what made us who we are and that was just being quite open and, and allowing the viewers to get to know our our players so yeah. six aside sessions coming back because it's a different angle of football it's, it's small sided it's quick I can it's a bit more relaxed as well it's not as serious as the Sunday games um, and we're also bringing a series out whereby, you know, I, I could dress it up, but it's basically a Q&A, but we're getting the viewers involved video-wise. They're going to see their face on the screen and, and asking questions. That's to them. cool. So we're going to do that. Right. Um, so I really want to sort of strip it back and bring it back to what it, what it used to be, if I can. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Six Aside Sessions are coming back. We're going to have a shirt because obviously we've got a kit supplier here. Um, they love a kit. They do love a kit. We like making the kit. We like making kits. We like making so, good kits. So why would you not want a specific kit for your Six Aside thing? Mm. Um, because sometimes you rock up and there's another team wearing exactly the same colours and it's literally flip the coin who's going to wear the bibs and so if we just rock up with like don't don't allude to what it's going to be but all we'll say is if you wear this the other team won't have to wear bibs yeah I think that's the best way of describing this shirt if you wear this shirt the other team won't have to wear bibs so you're doing them a favour yeah and you'll you'll look you won't get hit by a car yeah <laughs> in a way from a distance it might look like we're wearing the bibs yeah, potentially. Mm. That's all it is at the moment. But um, rod safety is yeah, it? Yeah, I've been working on sort of little little logos and graphics and stuff. You're 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 working on the badge side of things and seeing mm. the the material. So um, it's cool. It's all I'm saying is, it's if a good you, time to make a shirt. Yeah, if you missed out on the the one year anniversary shirt, which had some expensive uh, and nice bits to it, yeah. uh, we're going to try and go down a similar route with this shirt. Yeah. yeah. So Matt, I'll not keep you any longer. Yeah. Thanks very much, mate, for coming. No, thanks. Today. Thanks for setting this up. It's good. Like we want to, we want to do more of this stuff. Obviously, with me, this is my job at the end of the day. But the boys, they still go to work. Um, not all of them enjoy their jobs. So if I can offer the back of what I do, bring them opportunities. And like Tommy today got to come out of work and face up to Tom Kearney, a Fulham professional footballer, facing Tottenham at Wembley this week. Like it's, it's not every day you get to do that stuff, is it? No, so definitely. Um, yeah, if I can get more opportunities for the lads like that, then. That's all cool. I'll see you maybe soon. Hopefully not too long. No, let's not leave it as long this time. No. We're going to go now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, welcome to the next instalment of Kit Locker Vlog. Today we are at Adidas headquarters in Stockport. As you can see here, we're in the uh, one of the five-side internal pitches. It's absolutely lovely. Um, today we're going to be taking the new footage for the T19 range. So that means all the 2019 Adidas uh, team kits, match kits and the training wear. Uh, we're going to be doing a shoot of the men and women. Uh, we've got a couple of... Uh, couple of guys over there that are going to be uh, getting ready so we've got uh, Lee Edmondson's dropping in today he's a special guest um, and yeah let's see what comes out it's going to be yeah, it's going to be good there's some rascal boots on offer uh, on show sorry so should be good this place by the way is awesome let's have a look it is awesome a basketball court over there is pretty pretty sick I mean Let's go and take a look at the gym as well. That's what that's what area that I want to see the most. It's uh, it's good. All right, see you soon. Okay, for me, I'm a CrossFitter, so this area is pretty incredible. You've got some of the best equipment that that uh, you can buy in the industry, Elico bars and such. No one really cares. It's going to watch this. Ollie's going to hate me doing it, but it's fantastic. Look at these guys. Got vibrant runners. Oh, absolutely insane. Scenes in here scenes yeah this facility is is pretty incredible uh so it's good we're waiting on the uh, the start of the uh, photos to get to, to get going but can't wait 
we're up and running. The first shoot we've got today is of the T19 range. Where is she? We've got Ellie, who's the uh, customer service actually operative at Adidas. Uh, she's kindly come through and taking some photos. It's looking good. So our guest guest model today is a, is a footballer. He's captain of the mighty Hall of Colliery. We've got Lee Edmondson. <laughs> oh, trying to get him in. Looking forward to it, Ed. Well done. Great venue. Great venue. Do you think you should cover, ping a few balls around? These are top bins. And then we've got Chris. Chris Rose is part of kitlocker.com as well. He's the copywriter. You're my face out. <laughs> he's, very, he's looking very relaxed there. He's, uh, he's chilling. And then we've got Beats. Beats taking the photos of Ellie. Got to, got to look at some of them poses, haven't you, Ed? Get them nailed down. Up next, we've got Eddie. He's uh, he's in the new Estro 19 jersey, looking yeah, very fresh over there, isn't it? White and blue, colours are very bold. Thank you very much. He hasn't got a clue about, about posing now. I think we need to get him working on his poses. A few people in the office can work with that. I mean, Oliver Early for one. He uh, he does love a smolder. He can uh, can teach him. But yeah, looking good. What do you think, Chris? Oh, he's been on camera. On camera. <laughs> <laughs> he's got him. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Chris here with us uh, from Adidas. He, uh, him and the guys from the uh, team sales at uh, Adidas have facilitated it for us today. Um, Chris, thank you very much. Yeah, um, no problem. Uh, how are you feeling it's gone? Yeah, really well. It's great to see you guys come down here to Stockport, see Adidas and the environment that we work in. Yep. The fit box. It's, yeah, it's been, it's been good and the new products as well. And the photo shoot went, went really well. It's been looking good, hasn't it? And, um, are we looking forward to the new range of 2019? Absolutely, yes. Launches tomorrow, so November yeah. the 1st for all of your match wear. Get it then, on kitlocker.com. <laughs> and then December the 1st for all of the training wear, so Tiro 19. So, Brilliant. yeah, should be good. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much on behalf of everyone from Kit Locker. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. Okay, morning all. Um, after a bit of a nightmare start, we're finally on the road. And by nightmare start, I just mean that the camera's not working properly, so this is my first time vlogging, by the way, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I've got Johnny here with me. Hello. Johnny's designated driver today, and he's doing a grand job. Um, but anyway, with regards to the camera, so this is the camera. Johnny's nearly ploughed into the back of the BM. So the sound's on. The camera's on, yet when I listen back, it sounds like I'm in a submarine. So, um, maybe I might have to record it off my iPhone, but we'll see. But anyway, we've got an exciting day planned. Um, we're meeting up with some representatives from Adidas. Um, we're going to go to Carrington, where United train. Are uh, you excited, Johnny? Very excited, mate. Yeah, looking forward to it. Should yeah. Be, should be a good day. We've arrived, there's, there we are, Theatre of Dreams, no dreams this year, Liverpool's going to win the league, no dreams. Okay, finally got to the hotel, got a very nice view as you come out these stairs. John is impressed with his room, let's have a look. So a little room tour for you of the Lowry, if any of you are wanting to stay here, bath, uh, telephone, really not sure why you'd, oh, the robe, slippers, absolute must have, little kettle, what the teeth they got for the morning, twinings, very good, huge bed, massive bed, dining chair, very nice, I mean as hotels go, it's definitely up there, certainly something I couldn't afford. So thanks to Adidas for this, really, really do appreciate it. Morning Johnny. You enjoying your breakfast mate? Yeah? Well we're currently eating beans on toast in the Lowry. And hash browns. Fruit for Johnny. Is on a plate. Body's a temple. Boots. The new nemesis. Suave. Not sure about this bit though. Not sure about the low. The shoe would come off. Oh. oh, these. Very nice. Good player. Johnny, 
Morrison. Johnny. West Ham legend. Can you? Johnny, can you? Yeah. Tell me who that is. That's Wes Brown, mate. No, no, no. Easy. Wrong. Easy, mate. It's Michael Keane, mate. So, as you can see on the pitch, uh, the little wide bits are actually garlic. It absolutely stinks. So all these little white things are just cubes and sausage of garlic, to, which is pesticides. And yeah, it looks pretty cool, but I can assure you that it absolutely stinks. Very nice coach to take us to the game. Feel like Jay Ling's on this. Very nice. <laughs> So, full time, um, nil nil, really disappointing performance, well from a Liverpool perspective, great performance, um, I think Palace should have probably won it actually, great uh, chance at the end from Townsend, Lukaku looked slow, Pogba looked slow, I don't really know who looked well, what do you think Johnny? That lost the performance mate, I think I completely agree, I think Palace probably deserved to, to edge it on chances in all honesty. I think Van Anno first half and um, it was a, yeah Townsend second half should have at least put the game to bed really so yeah I think Mourinho will be giving a rock in, in the changing room at the moment. Uh, the United fans aren't happy. They're saying it's Mourinho's fault from what I can gather. They did look it didn't look very exciting to be honest with you. Um, Lindelof looked okay actually. Um, apart from that, Rashford looked like a good right back for a couple of minutes. Uh, apart from that, pretty poor. So, back to the drawing board, but Liverpool won. Hey guys, from Nine Production, we're going to be printing the F2 FC kits. You might have seen them from the Wembley Cup that Billy and Jeremy wore uh, for their team. Obviously, they won the Wembley Cup, and we are going to be retailing them in the next couple of weeks. Um, so, we will post that on social media as soon as we know that they're live. Guy from Patterns of Play, uh, Matt, really talented guy. We'll link his uh, website down below. Um, he did produce the shirts with the lines on the front and then the sleeves. So I'm joined by my glamorous assistant, Brad Danks. Hello. Happy? Very. <laughs> what? Um, so Brad's a uh, printer here. Used to be a model. What happened? Got fat. <laughs> no six pack. So Brad's going to be printing the kits um, for me today, and uh, we're going to these next couple of clips. We'll just run through uh, what we're going to be doing. So we have the Adidas badge sitting this bit, right there, and then on this bit is where the badge will be sitting. So the white shirt has the white badge, and then the black shirt has the black badge. That's where the magic happens, right there. So these badges are what we use for uh, SE Dons, Bay T Squad, and now F2. Uh, Palmer's new shirt is going to be in this as well for next season, so I'll keep an eye out for that. 15 second press at 140 degrees. Mm -hmm. Heat applied, so there's no chafing on the back of the garment with a normal embroiderer. So yeah, let's see what it looks like once we've got it printed. Doing a sleeve print on a press like this, you can't really keep the accuracy through every single shirt that we're going to do, especially if you're talking hundreds to three hundreds, maybe even into thousands. So we'll take you through to the other room and then we'll press those on there. So there you have it guys, that's a fully printed F2 shirt which we'll be retailing in the next couple of weeks. Keep an eye out on social media for when that will be going live to make sure you get yours. Okay guys, this is Ollie on the voiceover. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far and I think these next couple of clips are going to be the last ones before we wrap everything up. Um, before we get into what's on the screen now, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's watched. Uh, and if there's anything that you want to see in the next vlog, just give us a shout. Uh, in the comments or across social media. 
We're just Kit Locker on Instagram, Twitter and uh, Facebook. So a massive thanks to the guys at Mundial for making this shirt collaboration happen. So Dan, Seb, Alex, Mike, James and everybody, anyone else that I've missed off. Mundial have been someone that we've read and you know spoke about internally at Kit Locker for a while now, about someone that we wanted to work with. And getting the opportunity to do so has been massive for us. It feels like a lifetime ago, to be honest, since we sat down and originally had discussions around this shirt. Um, Dan, uh, one of the founders at Mundial, came over to Sheffield and we sat and had a coffee and we chatted about shirts and this creator platform that we've built, uh, obviously kitlocker.com forward slash created by. Dan had missed the final goal the previous night uh, where Firmino got the winner against PSG for Liverpool in the Champions League. So that was a, that was a good start. So onto the shirt. I'm sure you all will be pretty familiar with what it is. Um, it is an Adidas shirt based on the 1990 West Germany kit from the World Cup and then the not so iconic 2018 version as well which Germany wore. Um, there was one comment on Twitter that said it looked like a Germany and Mexico kit had had a baby. And to be honest, I don't think there's many ways that you'd be able to describe it that it'd be more accurate. So we've put these clips together like this because I think it's quite a good story from what a shirt looks like when it's on a screen, when you're thinking about designs to what it is right through in production. So you can see from the clips now, we're actually printing the shirt. And to be honest, this has been a really fun one to do because when you keep everything quite simple, where you've got a green shirt with a white print, it can really make the shirt stand out. So there's three different prints on there. So you've got the left chest print, the Mundial at the bottom of the shirt, and then Calm on the sleeve, which I'll talk about a little bit more in a second. And then obviously there's the optional name and number as well. So the vinyl that we're using for this presses in four seconds at 140 degrees. When you're putting a shirt like this underneath a heat press that's exposed to really high temperatures for a long time, it can damage the shirt. So this vinyl does stop that from happening. So the final thing that I want to talk about is the sleeve print. Um, campaign against living miserably calm. Uh, the guys over there are an award-winning charity, raising awareness for suicide prevention in men under age 45, which is the single biggest killer in men under that age. So that's it guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video and it's give you a bit of an insight into what we do at Kit Locker. And as I said before, if there's anything that you want to see further down the line, give us a shout in the comments. Mm -hmm.